Mike Zagelski, sales manager at Fordham Electric. I want to show you our speed controls that we use with our standard SR motor and all of our other older motors like the CC, the R, the F, all those older motors, the old S and 1 8 horsepower SRs. You've got three choices here. Two of them are foot pedals for hands-free use. One's a lightweight plastic and the other is a heavy cast iron unit. Some people like the cast iron because it doesn't move around as much on the floor. When you get a cast iron unit, don't forget there's a foam insert here. You need to remove that. Then you have the dial control. The dial control, turn it on, dial it up to the correct speed that you want. The nice thing about the dial control is you can mark where your favorite speed is to do certain tasks or jobs. We also have two other models of the same motors. This is the beam bench mount. As you can see, it requires the separate speed controls like our hang-up unit does. The other model we have is the one with a built-in dial control. It works just like the dial control that you have that's a separate one, but it's built into the base. Same on-off, and it'll go from the on-off all the way up to the high speed of the motor. When you're using our motors, you, want to have, you have to use a speed control. You don't want to plug it into the wall directly. It'll only go high speed. You've got two cord sets here. One's a 9-inch cord. That's what plugs into the motor. So let's plug the motor into that. If you notice, it's a North American three-prong standard plug. And then you plug your longer six-foot cord into the wall outlet. As you depress it like a car, it goes faster. Besides the SR model motor, we also have a TX and an LX motor. Those are both permanent magnet DC motors. So they need DC current, not AC current, to go in there. The special speed controls that we have for them have a rectifier that changes the AC from your wall outlet to DC that's required by the motor. For our standard universal motors like the SR and the CC motors, you still have the three-pronged North American plug. This is the motor cord set. That's its speed control for the motor cord. On the TX and LX, they're shielded, as you can see. It's critical that you use the correct speed control or you will blow out the motor because the permanent magnet ones output DC and not AC current.